this is Diane Lee from Teach Pre-K. Um, I'm in the middle of summer break and I am already thinking about what I'm going to do to introduce using the classroom materials to the kids during those first couple of weeks. And I've got some really great ideas I want to share with you on how to teach using scissors, especially for kids who may have never picked up scissors before in their whole life. First, I start out by getting these little kid scissors. They um, have a blunt tip, so they're not gonna stab anybody. Um, and they are not right or left specific. So kids are super ambidextrous and try both hands on any, you know, anything and everything from markers to scissors to daubers, paintbrushes. They don't really have their handedness set yet. So I'll leave a link um, where you can get a box of like, I think 12 to 24 of these really cheaply. I'll leave it in my description, but you wanna have these special scissors that you can use right or left. Now I've tried these little scissors where, um, gosh, they're almost like tweezers and I haven't had very good luck with those. I thought they were gonna be the greatest thing since sliced bread. I don't like them. I'm just gonna start my kids with normal kid scissors. So I will usually start by just introducing them to what this is. I'll ask, who knows what this is? What do we use this for? They always will know, not all of them, but enough of them will know, those are scissors, you cut things with them. And I'm like, you know what, do we cut hair with these scissors? No, we only cut paper in our classroom, only paper. Um, as a young mom, I didn't let my kids have scissors. I had two daughters with gorgeous hair and I didn't let them play with scissors or practice. And then they got to preschool. They had never used scissors before in their life. And they just didn't have the fine motor skills that a lot of other kids had. So I let the kids use the scissors as long as they know not to cut hair and just to cut paper. So I always tell them that I, like to think of my scissors as like a little alligator and this is my alligator's eye and if my alligator was swimming along he's looking for something to eat and open his mouth and go chomp right but if his eye is underneath the water he's not gonna see anything he wants his eye up top so this little hole always has to be on top and that little hole is for your thumb and this bigger hole is for your fingers so see we've got our thumb on top and our little alligator can go swimming along and see what he wants to eat which is always paper and go chomp and that's how that works and then we talk a little about how to use scissors what we're going to do and i'll have a little center set up that is supervised by a teacher and I suggest only bringing one or two kids over because you've got to really, really help them the first two, uh, two or three times you use scissors. But the kids come over and I'm like, remember, we put our thumb in the small hole and like maybe three, four fingers in the big hole and you always keep your thumb on top and I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna take a marker and make a smiley face on your thumbnails so that when you're using your scissors if you can see your thumbnail you know you've got your thumb on top and you're using your scissors right so i put smiley faces on their thumbnails and some kids get a little freaked out having something drawn on them so i'm like oh it's washable it'll come right off with the wipe and i have wipes right there because some kids freak out and they want that off like as soon as they can so then i'll put out um on a tray I will have several strips of paper and um, scissors, one little half sheet of white paper, and another um, classroom material we learn to use and start practicing using again is our glue stick. So I show with them how to take the lid off the glue stick, how this little dial on the bottom can make lots of glue go up, but that is screaming glue saying, hey, I'm glue. And what you want is you want your glue to just do a little peekaboo. That's all we need. If we do it too big, it's going to get smashed and messy, and it's just not going to work the way we want. You're going to have kids that do their glue all the way up, and you have to remind them, and they make a big mess and whatever. 
I just remind them all the time. They're little, they're learning. That's what it's for. So on each tray, I've got the glue stick, strips of paper, scissors, plain white piece of paper, because what we are going to do, the end game, is we make a little collage. But the purpose of this activity is teaching the kids how to use the scissors, smiley face on top, thumb in the little hole, fingers in the big hole. We're gonna cut paper strips all over that tray, as many as they can, in as many colors. Make sure you use colors that they like, different widths, so that they can practice like cutting an end off, cutting an entire piece, maybe a giant piece, but we're just working on keeping that little hole up, making sure we can see our smiley face. And then we use our peekaboo glue from our glue stick to glue our little scraps onto our paper. And we take home a little collage at the end. And you can use your printer and make something like, I use scissors and glue today, or I can use scissors and glue. You can make your week like an I can week. I can use a paintbrush. I can use markers. I can put lids on markers. I can do blah, blah, blah. But I will do this the first week of school as a center. And it's just a great way to teach kids scissor skills. But the whole little alligator thing, thumb in the little hole, more fingers in the smaller hole, I tell them that every time we use scissors for the rest of the year. And they will get it. I mean, they've got such little tiny hands. But um, once we've done them together in a center, I will leave strips of paper, glue, and bigger pieces of paper out for the kids, um, either as morning starters or as just a fun center if we're learning about winter. I'll leave some winter colors. We'll make a winter collage, whatever but it's just a way to get us to practice that skill and build those fine motor skills over and over and over during our year. But if you're planning for your first week, pencil in for maybe the third or fourth day, you wanna get them using scissors, at least introducing them. It's gonna be really frustrating for you and kind of frustrating for them. It's a hard skill to learn, but it's a really valuable skill to learn and it's something that they will need to learn for kindergarten. So I hope that gives you an idea of how you can teach that one simple um, little skill in your classroom. And since it is summer break, I have so many things I wanna share with you guys um, about like some things that I do when I start the beginning of the year and move on through the year. Um, so I'm super excited. So this is my first little video to kind of help you guys out and um, give you guys some ideas on what to do for your classes this year. Thanks so much for watching. And again, I'll have links to scissors um, in my uh, description. So thanks.